McKay Foundation, um, one knows is a product of KLF, and KLF were a radical and very interesting band. Um, I, I got to know them through a mutual friend. I mean, they had very little contact with the art world. Um, and uh, one of the artists that I work with knows them, and so through him, um, they got in touch with, they wanted to discuss their ideas um, and the project that they had in mind with people in the art world, because they, see, they saw it very much, or were trying to see it very much as art. Oh, wow. You nail it to a bit of wood so it can't function as it wants to. But it's to do with controlling the money, because money tends to sort of control you if you've got it. It kind of dictates what you have to do with it. You either spend it, give it away invest it and we just wanted to be in control of it we had many discussions as it turned out i had no idea at the start that we would have many discussions um, about what their project was and whether it was going to be interesting and um, i'm afraid i didn't find it the sort of thing that um, i was either particularly interested in certainly not as art and it was not something that i thought i would want to show in the gallery I'm not saying, hey, we're important, you know, this is a big artistic statement, you've got to, you know, you got to... But I'm just thinking, yeah, there is more, you know, you've got to... You can get more out of this than that. So why should they, you know, I suppose? We're just trying to maybe push things a bit further, push ourselves as far as we could go, do the best thing that we possibly could do at any given time, <clears throat> and just see how far we could possibly go you know, it was an idea. Because the K Foundation, one of our little things we had written out was that, you know, we, we were a foundation that would go further than any fa other foundation would dare to go. Go the whole way and then not come back again. The second time it happened again, uh, I believe, which was summer 94, the intention initially was to mount the million pound on the frame um, and actually give it to an art gallery, which I believe was to be kept there for until the year 2000 or 2001, at which time it was going to be auctioned or donated. Um, to young artists, I believe. The proceeds of the auction was nothing to do with Bill and Jimmy. Um, for whatever reason, because I, I wasn't ever, ever told the reasons, no gallery wanted it, I, I presume for security reasons. Um, so I was then told that the million pound was, was required by Bill and Jimmy. I went through the same questions again about security and insurance, and I was told this time they didn't want any. Um, I believe I advised against doing things that way, but they wanted the million pounds. And uh, other than the collection of the money and the delivery of the money to Bill and Jimmy, nothing else was arranged. Well, I 
just don't think, I don't think you can want to be an artist. You are an artist or you're not an artist. You can't set out and say, I'm going to be an artist. Yeah. How do I do it? Please, Bill Drummond and Jim Cott. <laughs> Bill Drummond and Jim Cott. You see, that, that poem actually runs for the best part of an hour, and we're keeping it up on that screen there, rolling as we talk. So, so why, Bill? Why? Um... There was a lot of reasons why, and there's still a lot. Of, we're still discovering reasons every day. Jimmy came up with the best reason yesterday, though. Which was? Mm. Uh, well, I was I was watching Top of the Pops with my kids, and Michael Jackson video came on yes. for his hit, and I just thought um, we burnt it because we'd never be as talented as Michael Jackson. We'd never be as talented. Yeah, as Michael Jackson. That, that came up, and it just felt right for yesterday. But we change our, our you know our ideas every day. We haven't come up with the definitive reason why we did it. You see, those people are, are not, the people in our audience are not really tuned in. They think I'm kidding, they think I'm joking, they think that it's funny money or monopoly no, no, or whatever. No, no, it's dead but serious. It's, it's actual money. Yeah. And is there, is there a philosophy behind this? Is this sort of uh, <coughs> a denial of the material world or something? Is that no, some, some, days, some days it is that, but it's not really that. You know, we could have done with the money. We wanted the money, but we wanted to burn it more. But if you burned a million, then you must have made three or four in your music career up to then. No, we'd, uh, that was the only million we'd got. I and mean, we've both got, you know, reasonable houses. And yes. we both don't have to, we're not on the, neither of us on the dole at the yes. yeah. And your wives and families? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. How many kids have you, Bill? I've got four kids. And Jim? I've got two. Two. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what did you feel as you saw it, as you saw it burning? Numb. You had to, I was on autopilot. You had to be on autopilot to do something like that. If you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're thinking about every 50 quid or bundles, because we were having to ch chuck bundles on, just because it was taking a long time to do, and we wanted to get back, get back to the hotel, get some sleep. You presumably had to go to the bank and get out a million pounds, mm -hmm. which is difficult in itself, I It was so. very difficult, yeah. We'd That's actually got, we'd got a million out the year before, and that had proved very difficult. You know, the insurance, we had to pay 7,000 pounds insurance just to have the money out of the bank for three hours. Because uh, the NatWest Bank in, in, in Britain, who we were with, they'd never cashed a cheque for a million pounds cash before. And they were, they didn't want it to go out because they, they felt it was a danger to people's lives out in the street. Because people might, obviously people would kill for a million pounds. Or a million pounds is used for drugs or gun running or, or running off to Brazil or something like that. And, and you gave up the music business at this stage. You said, that's enough, we don't want to know. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And you've no intention of going back to music? Not at the moment, no. But you might sometime in the future? Well, we, there's always a possibility that we could if we wanted to, because, uh, you know, it's something we know how to do. But, but, but what you're saying is that if you really have a string of hits, it's terribly easy to make an awful lot of money in a very short time in but the music business. You can, yeah, you can make a lot of money. If, if people like what you do, then, you know, you make a lot of money. We made a lot because our, like, our records were hits all over the world and we were in control of our own situation as well, so... But we wanted to stop when we stopped. I mean, there's a lot of reasons for wanting to stop, but at least we stopped before our records were uh, useless records. Most people though, can only make good records for a short period of time. Well, that's no particular reason to give up. I mean, if we all gave up no. just because we're not the best. Um, I understand you. I understand you've been doing this for 33 <laughs> years, and I'm just like, how can he? You know, but obviously you're still the best at what you do. But uh, in pop music, you know, you know, you've been doing the show. Sure, for, you've sure. seen them come and go. Come yeah. seen them go. Apart from Cliff, I and, suppose. Yeah. With the exception. And of we it. thought, you know, it's better to get out while you're while you're ahead. So you went and took this million pounds and you started burning it. What, and uh, you've been asked it a million times, I know. What about all the people who want hip replacement operations and old people and young people and handicapped yeah. people and kidney well, you know, obviously, obviously we thought about that, uh, you know, and we're not a charitable organisation. We thought that uh, you know, there's plenty of people who want to give money to charity. We wanted to do something that we found more interesting with the money. More give it away. interesting. Yeah, more interesting than giving it away to charity. I think, I think of all the people who are in need of help in this country, and in your own 